All right, just left the truck on the trail right now. We don't have super far to go, but we're on the Boulder Mountain here in Utah, and we're gonna be doing some trout fishing, uh, some fly fishing, and just camping in here for a few days, so it should be a good time. Let's go. Holy sh**. Just about there we've been hiking up the trail for a little bit getting pretty close about i don't know 900 yards until we can see the lake so i don't know we're getting pretty excited it's beautiful up here the leaves are changing colors and the air is crisp there's no better time to be here We're just skirting around the edge of this lake right now. There's an awesome camp right behind us, but it's not really where we want to be. So we're going to keep going and see if we can find a better spot. All right, well, we made it around this other side of the lake and there is just nowhere to camp like we thought there was. Looking on Onyx, it seemed like there was a couple spots, but there's just nothing around. So unfortunately, we're going to have to trek back a little ways to that other spot luckily i mean it's a really really nice camp spot so i don't know not too big of a deal we don't got to go too far to get back there but i think i want to go through that way again oh i got a couple people right there all right well we just made it back to the camp we're gonna set up our tents and figure out what we're doing from there. Okay, camp's all set up. We got the tents up. Now we're just gonna go get some water getting hungry so need to make some food but not really sure what we're gonna do the rest of the day probably gonna try to do some fly fishing at some point but there's a few other guys up here fly fishing as well so I don't know we'll see what happens All right, the old man's back at camp, taking a nap in his hammock. Uh, I'm hiking back here to try and find this other lake that uh, is supposed to have a ton of fish in it. So I'm gonna go find it and see what it's all about. Once I emerged from the aspen forest and could finally see the lake, I quickly realized how special this place was. The water was almost crystal clear, and every once in a while, you could see the fish swimming around. Now, 
for whatever reason, I decided it was a good idea with a heavy pack to hop across the rocks and try my luck on the north end of this lake. I tried several different patterns with no luck. Dry flies, streamers, even some worms. It seemed like no matter what I threw at these fish, they just weren't very interested. After a few hours of fishing with no luck, I started to feel pretty defeated, and I called it. Well, I've been fishing for a while, and I just, I can't figure them out. I'm not too sure what these fish want, but it's not what I'm throwing. I did have one fish um, that was kind of curious about one of my flies, but other than that, I haven't had any luck at all. So, we're gonna head back to camp check on my dad see how he's doing probably up from his nap by now so I don't know go back and meet up with him and then make a game plan for tonight dude there's literally just a fish just chilling right here I don't know if you guys can see him right out here. Hey, check this out. Look what I just found. Let's see if I can find any that are still good. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Wild raspberries. Ooh. Wild raspberries are so good. Sweet. All these wild raspberries right here by the lake. Got about an hour before dark. Got a fire going. And it's time to do a little bit more fishing. Can't give up that easily. We gotta catch something today. Hopefully I got my fingers crossed. Let's see. This inlet was a stone's throw from our camp and it had these deep veins that were loaded with brook trout. We were amazed by how many fish we were seeing. Yet, just like earlier in the day, they weren't interested at all. I was starting to worry that this trip my father and I had been planning for years was gonna be a bust, and we were gonna walk away without catching anything. It was starting to get pretty dark, so my dad headed back to camp. I was just about to turn around and head back myself before I decided I was gonna tie on a streamer and give it one last shot. Finally hooked up on one. It's a sweet brook trout. All right, well, just caught our first fish of the trip. Nice brook trout. It's funny though, cause it's getting dark and we were about to come in and I, I had a, a dry fly on and I, you know, tossed it out there a couple times and it wasn't working. I was literally about to turn around and come in. I had the last thought, I'm like, God, I'm gonna try one more. I tried one more and hooked up with this guy immediately. So that's awesome. That's the best brook trout I've ever caught right there. That's what we're here for. He's sweet. Now typically I like to catch and release, but tonight we were celebrating. We followed that up by sitting around the campfire, swapping stories and talking about life. Something I don't get to do with my dad that much anymore. As you get older, work, and daily obligations seem to take over life 
and it's very easy for the time to pass you by. So you have to make a conscious effort to spend time with the people you love. Good morning, day two. First things first, we need to get some coffee. I got my coffee now it's time to go fishing we're gonna head back to Green Lake and hopefully the fish are on today um, yesterday was really rough right up until it was almost too dark to see and then I caught that one nice brook trout so I don't know hopefully they're on this morning we'll find out yeah that's good. Well, I put the basket on. We quickly finished our breakfast and hit the trail with high hopes of catching more fish than the day before. When we arrived, I was once again taken back by the beauty of this lake. After fishing for a while with no luck, we headed back to camp to regroup. This mountain is special to me. Some of my earliest memories were made here on hunting trips with my father and grandfather. Weeks in advance, my grandpa would come out here and set up camp for us so when we arrived, everything was ready to go. He had this giant canvas wall tent filled with cots and a wood-burning stove. He would bring his camp chef and Dutch ovens too. This guy made the best blueberry cobbler and it was something we all look forward to. My grandpa was a cowboy and a cowboy doesn't go anywhere without his horses. He died a few years back working on the ranch. Today we spread his ashes on top of this hill, looking over a meadow where his favorite horse Jack died several years before. My grandpa was the kind of guy that would give you the shirt off his back. He realized the value of time, and he spent as much of it as he could doing the things he loved with the people he loved most. Thank you. 
Got hit with a pretty good storm last night. It was windy. There was lightning. And it snowed a lot, I think. <laughs> Holy shit. We definitely weren't expecting this, but there is something about waking up to a fresh blanket of snow that adds a bit more excitement. All of our gear that got left outside was encased in snow that had turned to ice, so before we could pack up, everything had to dry out like fire. This gave us plenty of time to drink our coffee and eat our breakfast as we soaked in our last moments here. looking at my surroundings. But I was ready to get back home so I could see my family. All right, well, we made it back to the truck. So it's nice to be there or be back here and unload the packs, but we're not out of the woods yet. A little bit worried about uh, the condition of the road and getting out, so. Yeah, it was hard enough getting in here. Yeah, it was kind of tough getting in, so it'll be a little bit of a journey getting out, I'm sure, but either way, we'll, we'll make it out of here. If you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, smash the like button. And if you wanna support my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, in the future, I wanna know from you guys, what kind of content do you wanna see? Go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.